My name is Ryan Nobles, and today we're going to be doing a shoe brand selection briefing. What is the purpose of our shoe brand selection briefing? Our purpose is to determine the best brand to wear on our feet. Okay? And so the problem, the situation that we have here is that um, shoes are essential to everyday wear. Um, our shoes have to be comfortable and they have to be stylish. And there's so many brands out here for us to choose from. And so our purpose statement of this assignment will be, um, what brand of shoes should I purchase for myself? So uh, the information, um, our selection criteria uh, will be the price of shoes does not need to exceed $120. And um, the style of shoe, um, if it's not compatible with any of the other outfits that I have in my closet or wardrobe, then um, then that would not be a good fit or a good uh, selection for me. And the evaluation criteria that we'll be basing off of will be the style of shoe, um, the price of the shoe, and comfortability. So these are our alternatives. We have Nike, which everybody knows Nike. We have Adidas. We have New Balance, we have Jordan, and we have Vans. If we look at this, um, our diagram right here, we have the Air Max 200s uh, for Nike, we have the MND R1s for Adidas, we have the 574s for um, New Balance, and we have the Retro 13s for Jordans, and we have the old school Vans. Okay, um, comfortability, these are our, our rankings from a one to five, um, with one being the uh, most comfortable and five being the least comfortable. And then we also have our prices. And so as you can see um, right now, our, most, our cheapest shoe are, are, are the Vans and our most expensive shoe are the Jordan Retro 13s. So after doing my evaluation, I'm uh, uh, looking at style, comfortability, and price. Um, I added up my totals from one to five with one being um, the best or the most comfortable or the most stylish or the best price um, and five being the least comfortable, the least stylish, and the, the most expensive. Um, and we came out with these totals, which are seven for Nike, six for Adidas, four for New Balance, 12 for Jordan, and eight for Vans. Um, and so after looking at this selection criteria, I decided to go with New Balance. New Balance uh, ended up having uh, not the best style, but very reasonable, having the best comfortability, um, and the price is top notch as well. Reasonable, very reasonable price. They were about 80 bucks. And so the pros with this alternative New Balance uh, 574, the pros would be that uh, the best price quality for the shoe, um, very comfortable shoe and it's versatile. I can wear this shoe with any type of fit that I have in my closet. Um, it can look nice uh, whether I'm trying to be more casual, if I wanna go out for a run, go exercise. Um, then the cons of this shoe is that it's not as stylish as other shoes. So looking at, let's for instance, the Jordans or the Nike brand, um, they have a lot of different styles that could probably overbeat the New Balance. And so ultimately my recommendation would be the New Balance uh, 574 as the best shoe from its competitors. It's comfortable, it's stylish, um, it's priced just right, especially for me as a college student. Um, and so this would be my, my top choice.